Welcome back to Crafting with Pui Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the offset um, tool to create stickers in Silhouette Studio. We're going to make a sticker sheet. Okay, let's go. Um, here we have an apple. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll go to my media. I'll go to page setup right here. Page setup. And I'll put my media on 8.5 by 11. You see it here, media size. And I'll put it on um, landscape orientation, like so. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go to here. It's called registration marks. And I will turn them on. And then we have this. I'll go back here. Okay. And I'll ask it to show my cut my cut border. My cut border. This is my cut border. That means um that this is that means within the cut border is the safe place for my images to be. And my images will cut for sure in this in the cut border, within the cut border. If a, a piece of the image if it overlap it like so, this part here will not cut. Okay. So like crafters, we want to uh, have the maximum use of our page or paper. So we're going to move the cut border more to the edge of the paper. Okay, we're going to make it bigger. And to make it bigger, we go back here in registration marks. And we come down here. They call it the inset. The inset, like the way it's coming in setting in and look how big it is that means the inset is this is the inset here we're going to push it to the back that means we make the inset smaller now you go here and then you adjust it and this is the smallest it can be okay and when we adjust this you see these here the registration marks move to the back a little bit okay so this is the maximum space that we can have on an 8.5 by 11 sheet to make stickers okay okay let's go back here now we're going to work on our um sticker you see here here is the size five by something let's say we want the stickers to be one inch each like small stickers one inch you can make it smaller but i will keep it one inch okay I have it here. I I wanted to have a let me move it here to have a white outline around it. So to put the white outline around it, let's go to offset panel. This is the offset you use. Select it, click on it, and then you click the offset. Okay. Let, let me go closer to it before. Okay, closer. Zoom in. I'll select the offset. You see the offset is met is gigantic and huge we don't want that so we're going to um, bring it down bring it down let's say we our offset is good like so and now we're going to apply it you see so look if you make it white your sticker will be like that okay it'll come out like this if you want it bigger you make it bigger you make your offset bigger okay you make it bigger over here if you want it small, you keep it small. Okay, so we have this. So we're going to select it and we're going to group it. Control G, group it. Okay, and after we've done that, let's go back to our page. I'm going to zoom out. Okay. So I will place it here. My first apple. And I want uh, an amount of apples here. Here, I told you this is a vector, right? I will go to send. Okay. And because it's a sticker, we will cut edge. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's do it again. I have this. Then I will use the replica tool. And one more. Okay, and then I will move this one to here, save place, and then I'll select all. 
I'll make one more here like we did one more and then I'll select all and I'll go to the alignment tool and I'll use this one okay very very good and then I will group them now after I group them I will go back here to the replicate tool now I want like four four um, rows down I will select this and it has four rows okay um, let me see if I can put three more okay okay but when we go closer to it we see that they meet they, they, they are too close to each other we are going to spread them a little bit spread them a little bit so I will drag this one down like so I will do the same thing and then I'll select them all again I will go here and now we want the, 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 the space to be between here so we will have this selected okay so we have our apples and they are separate okay now I'll go to send and see something you see when you when you're going to cut you need to select them all and select cut edge okay select cut edge right here you should have them on cut edge never have them here or it will try to cut the svg and you don't want that you see the mess always have it on cut edge so we will cut only around the um the offset okay go back to design okay now you go back here okay and then you have a page and then show print border because you should be printing it right for it to cut your machine will see only this here only the black parts here these three it won't see the images it will only see these and you should be uh, sure that you have these on your page so the print border will be will help you with that if your print border is not good if it doesn't uh, if it's not on the four walls please go and file print page setup and here is the page that we have and the size should be 8.5 by 11 shouldn't be something else it should be 8.5 by 11 just like here they should correspond okay and you put your paper in your printer where you want it to be and it should be landscape just like it's landscape here it's landscape here it's um 8.5 by 11 here 8.5 by 11 here okay and you click okay and then it will be here if it doesn't come if the print border doesn't come just switch to here okay and switch back to here it will it will fit okay so this is what i wanted to show you guys you print it out and then you cut it on your machine when you want to cut it please make sure that you put it uh, align it exactly as it's in the computer on your mat align it exactly on your physical mat too thank you so much for watching bye